The important point I think we need to all understand is that we've been on a journey to become both a fully accredited, excellent undergraduate medical education program, but also an excellent medical school. So I think the important thing is that there's a continuum from admissions through to curriculum, both medical and biomedical, to uh, faculty and to structure that says we've tried to address all of the issues that need to be in place to be a highly successful medical school as well as a fully accredited undergraduate medical education program. We uh, have put a, a, a new structure in place in the College of Medicine uh, because our accreditation uh, feedback in the past was that we didn't have the infrastructure to support uh, a fully successful medical school. Since 2012, really, we've been approaching that. Uh, first, we've addressed our admissions policies. Uh, we have gone to a four-year degree requirement. We've used the MCAT as part of our, our um, admission requirements. We have um, also address diversity. We have our Aboriginal um, admissions program. We now have our diversity and social accountability admissions program. Again, so we want the best students to come into medical school and we also want the, the students that represent our population here in Saskatchewan. In the same way, back in 2012, we started the process of a new curriculum. And so best students give them the best possible curriculum. And, and that includes things that are nation leading, like our point of care ultrasound teaching. Uh, so really exciting new curriculum. A curriculum that moved to the two plus two format so our students could be more competitive in CARMS because of an earlier exposure and additional exposure uh, to clinical teaching. Going from there to faculty, uh, when, we, when, we arrived, when I arrived in 2014, it was clear that we had less than half of the MD time, medical doctor time, devoted to the medical school as most medical schools our size did. We've embraced all of the physicians in the community to be part of this medical school. And, and we've increased the engagement. So over the last three years, we've actually gone from 35 full-time equivalents of physician time engaged with the College of Medicine doing education and research to 80 full-time equivalents of physician time. Uh, they've taken on leadership roles, they're participating in tutorials, they're participating in lectures, uh, and th they are really uh, stepping up to the plate uh, to help us deliver our curriculum. We have addressed uh, challenges uh, in research. We have invested in ComGrad and ComRad uh, research awards within the College of Medicine. We recruited a chair in MS research. We are currently recruiting a chair in Indigenous Health. Uh, we are doing all kinds of things to enhance the research productivity of our College of Medicine. We're working with our biomedical sciences to restructure those departments. And we really um, w want to see our scientists, our population health scientists, our biomedical scientists, and our clinician researchers to thrive. We have uh, followed the way forward and uh, been very deliberate about a plan to put a, a leadership team in place that will uh, provide uh, the, uh, the, the structure and the supports that this medical school needs. And that was very clearly outlined by accreditation uh, teams in the past that said we didn't have the structure and we didn't have the people to support an excellent medical education program, let alone an excellent medical school. And so we've, we've created uh, positions in leadership in the undergraduate curriculum, in biomedical sciences, and of course we have a new decanal team uh, in place. We've been very successful at recruiting people um, there is a, a tremendous team uh, that has dramatically changed um, since uh, we last did accreditation uh, in 2009. I think um, we need to look at the advantages we have as a medical school. Uh, this medical school is, is, has the potential of first being one of the best small medical schools in Canada and eventually one of the best medical schools in Canada. We are the only medical school in Saskatchewan, uh, so we're highly important to the province. Um, we have the perfect mix of urban, rural, and remote populations, uh, and our, uh, our indigenous population as well, to truly support uh, medical education and to do really groundbreaking research that can you know, be spread across the world. One of the successes in the last year that I'm very proud of is that we've developed a new strategic plan. So we had 
uh, the way forward, which was really a plan for restructuring the college and addressing some of our structural challenges. Now we have what is truly a strategic plan where we've redefined our mission and our vision and we've established seven strategic priorities uh, for the College of Medicine. So our focus, as I've said, is to get through accreditation this fall, and that's our immediate priority. But now we're shifting to uh, actually following the new strategic plan that we have collaboratively developed and, and, and uh, really uh, live the vision that we are leaders um, in improving the health and well-being of the people of Saskatchewan and the world. Our mission statement emphasizes our commitment to community engagement. Uh, it emphasizes our, our commitment uh, to um, Indigenous populations and, and the need uh, to support Indigenous health research and uh, Indigenous students in, in our programs. Our mission speaks to, to our commitment uh, to developing culturally competent, skilled clinicians and scientists. So, so as we go forward, this, this vision and mission that we've all agreed upon needs to become our focus. And that gets translated into seven strategic priorities that we've established as a college. And that means uh, uh, grow our research. It means improve, uh, continuously improve the quality of our education programs. It means our commitment to social accountability and community engagement. Uh, it means our commitment to Indigenous health. Uh, it means our commitment to distributed medical education, our commitment to supporting our faculty and improving our faculty engagement. And finally, it, it, it points to that partnership with the healthcare system uh, that continuously supports the improvement of uh, the quality and quantity of health care that's delivered to the people of Saskatchewan. We need to continue our faculty transition um, and, and I think that's well underway but it still has, has a long way to go. We need to continue to embed the approach to continuous improvement uh, uh, to support our student success both in medical school and in the biomedical sciences and the population health sciences. We need now to pivot towards postgrad to a certain extent because competency by, de by design is being introduced in postgraduate medical education and that is a huge challenge for our medical faculty that we need to support over the next five years. Uh, we need to continue to uh, uh, develop distributed medical education, especially longitudinal integrated clerkships so our students can do uh, third year in the community. Um, we also need to continue to grow the research and grow the research support uh, that we, uh, uh, so we will we'll be uh, competitive with our U15 colleagues. We actually um, have the opportunity to improve healthcare in this province, not just by training more doctors by the province, but by partnering with the healthcare system so that our doctors are constantly stimulated by uh, their participation in teaching and research at the College of Medicine. Uh, it also means that our biomedical scientists and our population health researchers have more opportunities uh, to advance their research as they interact with the healthcare system. We have um, had tremendous support from the university. I'm really excited about being a leader here at University of Saskatchewan. Uh, we just finished uh, the uh, senior leadership retreat um, in Waskazoo, and there's a fabulous team of leaders here at the University of Saskatchewan, the provost, the president, the, the vice presidents of research and finance, and all of the leadership at Saskatchewan want to see the College of Medicine succeed. My fellow deans want to see the College of Medicine succeed. Uh, so really need to emphasize uh, the level of positive support that we have from the University of Saskatchewan.